good morning students so we have discussed in our previous class a force can change the state of motion force can change state of motion so we have understand that a force applied on an object can change its speed a force applies on an object can change its speed Speed take activity to understand that the speed of an object is changed by applying a force, by pushing or pulling. The speed of an object can change. So we have take that a rubber ball. We have take a rubber ball on a thin surface and. We have pushed a an object in rubber ball by our hand. Then the ball is moving towards in the direction of applied force. Then we have placed the palm in front of this moving ball. So what happens? The speed of the moving ball is decreases, and after some times, it its speed is now zero. We have also understand in our daily life example that player take a penalty kick and he kick the football. In front, a goalkeeper jump or ties and stop the moving football. So there, the speed is decreases or speed is zero. So we understand that the force can change the state of motion. So we have understand first that by applying a force can change the speed of an object we have also seen that i have seen that a boy can moving a rubber tire or a <coughs> moving a rubber tire so i have seen that in this example the speed of moving tire is increases by pushing by pushing with the boy so we have seen that there also speed of an object speed of an rubber tire also increases now we have discussed more in a force can change the state of motion so students we have discussed here another more activity so we have taken in our previous lecture that we have placed a rubber ball on a plain surface we have placed a rubber ball on a plain surface so in there we have taken that a ball we have placed on plain surface a level of a surface we have placed one rubber ball and now we have pushed this rubber ball then what happened this moving this rubber ball now moving along the direction of applied force now we have applied more pushing this ball so what happened the moving ball speed now increases the direction of applied force now we have place now we have place our palm now we have place our palm in front of this moving ball so what happen this moving ball speed now decreases and after some time this moving ball is in the rest position so in this case the speed is now zero so what 
we have taken now we have taken that this rubber ball now is moving so we have placed a ruler we have placed ruler along the path along the path this moving rubber ball what we have done we have placed ruler on the along with the this moving ball part along the direction of this moving rubber ball part so we have placed a one
obtained in goal on in front of other team and other team are goal in front of first team so we have also seen in volleyball that he take a goal on this opposite direction and winning their team so in volleyball we have seen also that the direction can change also by application of a force so students we have now note down some points to understand that by applying a force then a force can change the state of motion so students a change in either the speed of an object either the speed of an object or its direction of motion or both or both described as a change in its state of motion so the force can change the state of motion so which state either the speed or its direction so the speed of an object or its direction of motion or both described as a change in its state of motion so by applying a force by application of a force thus a force thus a force a force may bring a change in the state of motion of an object so we have understood that a force can change either the speed or direction of the motion of an object so state of motion what is state of motion so we have see that either the speed of an object or direction of motion is described state of motion so object to object either in rest position either in motion object either in rest position or in motion so force can change the state of motion by either speed or its direction so we have discussed today the force can change the state of motion so you prepare it well and note down in your notebooks so now we meet in our next class thank you